screen. Yes, right? we can see your screen. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. So let's go over the curriculum. What is planned for uh, plan for getting started with uh, bioinformatics in Python and uh, and in also in R. Uh, so you will start by uh, uh, by getting an introduction to big data in bioinformatics. Like uh, um, you will get uh, an introduction to uh, how to use the platform and how to use different sections of the platform. Like uh, you will start with absolute basics like. Um, how can uh, like a couple of links to install Python in your computer, for example, or uh, what is a uh, general IDE or uh, in, uh, interactive development environment or uh, we uh, that you can use um, to uh, uh, use along with the Python uh, so that you can code uh, uh, in a uh, more user friendly manner <clears throat> and and. You will also learn how to, uh, for example, <clears throat> uh, uh, perform a couple of uh, um, uh, analysis, like a couple of exploratory analysis, like as I, may, as I had uh, 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 given an introduction to like a box plot or like a scatter plot, et cetera, et cetera, in the first uh, session. And then we will slowly start working uh, towards increasing the complexity of, of um, uh, understanding how you can use Python to load biological data, like uh, to load uh, DNA sequence data, and how how you can, uh, uh, for example, um, convert the DNA sequence into RNA sequence or DNA sequence into protein sequence, or how you can get uh, um, um, display, or how you can make uh, a multiple sequence alignment display using uh, Python, and how you can perform, for example. Um, um, a very basic uh, sequence comparison analysis using two different uh, DNA strings. So uh, this will not only really give you some of the necessary uh, um, functions that you will uh, need to work with Python uh, for bioinformatics data, but it will also give you how or how generally uh, how Python is uh, used and what are the different tools in Python is, and that are used for bioinformatics analysis uh, and for DNA sequence analysis and etc. Et so you will again uh, uh, then uh, proceed towards uh, exploratory analysis where you can um, make changes to the data, to the organization of the data that is data wrangling and you can pre-process the data which is absolutely necessary uh, for, uh, uh, for different statistical analysis. Uh, and you can perform exploratory analysis. You can perform uh, visualization of uh, different exploratory analysis and um, using uh, uh, log transform data, for example, or using uh, combined pooled data or using a subset of your data set. So all of these methods will come under data wrangling and visualization. And then we will also help you uh, generate or understand different uh, uh, dimensionality reduction uh, tools like uh, plots like using principal component analysis or um, or PSNE or UMAP etc uh, can be used to visualize the um, pattern that that is present in your data so um, so this will be your third session where you will straight away start working with uh, with the structured data uh, to understand the pattern to so generally understand the pattern uh, that underlies or that is hidden inside the data. And then you can go one step higher or one step uh, more complex by trying to compare a different subsets or different sample sets of the data that you have or structured data that you have. So these uh, comparisons can be performed by, um, uh, by, uh, by um, 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 with the use of uh, uh, t-test or uh, 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 differential gene expression analysis or uh, different uh, um, clustering or unsupervised uh, machine learning methods like clustering and uh, hierarchical clustering and k-means clustering and all of these will uh, help you um, differentiate multiple sample types for example in the data or multiple uh, data types or different phenotypical types that are uh, re reflected in the distribution of the data that we are analyzing. This data can be uh, 
um, I mean, for example, uh, transcriptomics data. Uh, this data can be metagenomics data and etc. Uh, different uh, different types of data will also be uh, discussed and uh, what we are going to gain from these different types of data and what we are going to understand from analyzing these different types of data will also be discussed. So, um, and uh, you can expand your uh, um, uh, knowledge or bioinformatics knowledge in Python to apply that to various other types of data. And, um, so then uh, we will uh, we will then um, uh, go or we will then uh, go uh, to or uh, learn about machine learning tools like supervised and unsupervised uh, machine learning tools and uh, algorithms that are generally used for um, uh, biological data or bio uh, uh, big data or mixed data and um, uh, you will also be um, introduced to or you will also be uh, explained on different parameters and settings that are that one needs that one needs to account for when you are using different uh, supervised and unsupervised algorithms like um, how you can set up for supervised algorithm supervised machine learning analysis and how what you can actually gain uh, uh, from uh, from the output of supervised and unsupervised analysis and how you can uh, for example um, uh, you evaluate uh, the performances of unsupervised machine learning methods and supervised machine learning methods, et cetera, that you can, uh, uh, that will also be discussed. And you will also be um, introduced to uh, a few, uh, a couple of uh, introductions to uh, predictive models using a deep learning methods also. So you can also use dimensionality reduction uh, with the deep learning. Uh, and uh, we will also share you uh, some coding lessons that will, um, help you or get, uh, that will uh, give a brief introduction to uh, uh, deep learning methods and how it can be applied to uh, big data, comics, big uh, data that is generated from high throughput sequencing. So uh, uh, in the end of this uh, uh, bioinformatic introduction to bioinformatics in Python, uh, you will also uh, be introduced to different uh, project uh, that uses or um, uh, that uses uh, um, uh, Python environment for uh, detailed downstream analysis, like uh, in metagenomics or in uh, or in machine learning. So uh, you will be introduced to uh, these example projects. Like what was uh, the original aim uh, that was uh, um, that the uh, research article intended to perform with the data and uh, what is a part of the data that we are considering and uh, what, what is the hypothesis that we are setting up and what is the uh, uh, um, different uh, methods that we are going to uh, employ to um, verify or to understand the patterns uh, within the data and, uh, uh, and different steps and different analysis tools that is necessary to perform these analysis. And uh, once this analysis is performed, and how you can relate uh, the characteristics and how you can implicate uh, biological understanding from the results.